Hello there. I'm Francine, Earth and Sojourner here. And I'm going to tell you about why you should be watching the upcoming Super Flower Blood Moon this Wednesday, May 26th. Stay tuned. This coming Wednesday, May 26, 2021, there's going to be a special Super Flower Blood Moon. This celestial event is going to include not only a super moon, but also a total lunar eclipse. Actually, there are a few celestial events happening simultaneously to make this a spectacular watch. First is the full moon, starting at about dusk on May 25th. Now, everyone on the earth will be able to see the full moon, weather permitting. It's going to be a super moon and will appear about 7% larger than average. It should be the biggest and the brightest full moon of 2021. It's also a blood moon due to the total lunar eclipse. The moon will slip into the Earth's shadow and turn red for about 15 minutes. This event is called a flower blood moon just because of the time of the year that it occurs. It's May and it's springtime and it's associated with flowers blooming. Now, why should you watch this? And what does that have to do with growing older? Well, you know, we need to start taking advantage of the spectacular awe and wonder of this magnificent world that we live in. And sometimes we don't do that. This event, although it happens as a total lunar eclipse every couple of years, is something that if you haven't watched one before, you're going to want to watch it. The total lunar eclipse will be visible across the western U.S. and in the early hours of the western night sky. Totality, or when the moon turns reddish, will be visible about 11, 11 through 1125 UTC. For those of us that are near the Mississippi River or east of it, we may not see totality but it'll be the biggest and the brightest full moon of 2021 and that will still be a sight to behold so look to the east look east and you'll be able to see it but folks in hawaii and in australia and possibly those on the west coast please please take some great pictures and post them in the comments, please. This is going to be an incredible sight. So this is an event that provides some awesome and some wonder. And we don't wanna miss out on those things. We should really take advantage of those when they're available. And although this event, the total lunar eclipse, it happens every couple of years. How many times have you watched one? I'm not sure I've ever watched one in my 60 plus years. And so I'm going to start taking advantage of the spectacular, awesome events that present themselves. And I imagine that looking up and seeing the moon red and big must have been pretty frightening for our ancestors. I'm, ancient cultures used to do everything in accordance to the seasons to the tides and the placement of the stars in the night sky, including the moon. They found meaning and sometimes life-sustaining and life-saving value in naturally occurring events. Some cultures didn't really understand why the moon turned red and they associated it with apocalyptic events. As recently as 2014, there were a set of apocalyptic prophecies espoused by two, at that time, pretty well-known Christian pastors about a series of four consecutive lunar eclipses in the end times. And it referenced the book of Joel with the blood moon signaling the end, the beginning of the end. So the fourth event in the prophecy happened September 15th. We still here. Make it happen.
and then send me some pictures in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you got up and watched it and it was everything that it was expected to be. Pay attention to signs, miracles, and wonders. They're out there. Be more self-aware and let me know if you notice any, any kind of physical or emotional um, changes as a result of the super flower blood moon. Remember, we're all just travelers. Might as well travel well. Put it on your bucket list.